Hey YouTubers, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Guys, thanks for joining me. I need to make a very important video. I'm getting a lot of questions of people asking me, what is shadow flipping? How does shadow flipping affect me? What do I need to know when I'm selling my home? And what does shadow flipping mean? So I'm getting a lot of emails on that because I do mention it from time to time in my videos of the last couple of years of this bizarre phenomena that's scamming a lot of homeowners. Now there's shadow selling, which I also bring up many times. Shadow selling is when there's two corporate entities, corporate companies, numbered companies, usually numbered companies. And what they usually do is they sell the same property between each other. And that's shadow selling. It's happened a lot in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK, where two corporate companies would just go back and forth and sell property between each other and launder the money. It's not like, because in the United States, it wouldn't work because if you have the average house at 170, 240,000, you would have to launder, you would have to sell that house 50 times uh, to, to the same corporations to make what you could make in Vancouver with two shadow flips with a two, $3 million teardown. So the, 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 the um, shadow sellers, sorry, are on the ball when it comes to that. They go to real estates that are so expensive, like in Canada or Van um, in Australia, New Zealand, and they would shadow flip back and forth, a shadow sell back and forth there. Shadow sell between two corporate entities. Now we're going to look at shadow flipping and why it's dangerous. Guys, this is an old article from 2016, so I'm bringing this up so you, so you guys can see how long shadow uh, flipping has been going on and it's so dangerous and it's the canadian proper the australian the new zealand proper that suffer from this shadow flipping not limited to vancouver real estate market so it's everywhere so this is what you need to know guys okay the controversial real estate move is leaving some homeowners feeling scammed so here it is imagine your realtor sold your home for 500 large more than the price you agreed to but you didn't see a penny of the extra cash that's the situation for some Vancouverites as exposed in the Globe and Mail future, uh, sorry, feature sun, uh, Saturday. So, a controversial sales technique called shadow flipping allows realtors to score two or even three times their standard commission on a single house by reassigning uh, the sale to different owners at even higher prices. But it's a practice that has left the original sellers from feeling scammed. How does it work? An increasing number of real estate transactions in Vancouver region uh, feature what's called an assignment clause. So there's the assignment clause, people. So you need to look into that because there's other provinces now where real estate agents are assigning the assignment clause. Okay, And this happened with a lot of re re realtors have adjusted and changed that here in the province of British Columbia, right? Which allows the buyer to transfer or sell his or her interest in the property before the closing date. So that's very dangerous. So it's already sold before the interest before the, in the closing date. Okay. Some savvy realtors use this clause to essentially sell the same house multiple times over, allowing them to make multiple commissions off one house. So this is very dangerous. Okay, guys, for instance, the realtor could, could find an investor, buyer one, willing to purchase the seller's home for $2.5 million. So you see why? So people watching this in the States are like, oh, but they're doing this to people with mansions. No, $2.5 million in Canada is a teardown property. It's a property that's unlivable, a three-bedroom probably, that's unlivable. So people watching this in other parts of the world like, oh, 2.5, Mike, it's happening to millionaires. No, it's not. It, the house is worth 2.5, okay? Buyer number two then buys the contract for $2.8 million. Finally, buyer number three purchased the contract for $3.1 million. At, at closing, buyer one, buyer two, each make uh, a $300,000 in profit. The realtor earns three commissions, uh, one for each transaction. The seller only gets the original $2.5 million less the commission on the amount. So the middlemen flippers pay income tax on their on their profits, but they pay no land transfer taxes. So that's what you got to keep in mind. How widespread is it? According to Don Campbell, uh, founding partner of senior analyst of the Vancouver headquarters, real estate investment network assignment clause schemes are nothing new. And they're not exclusive to Vancouver either. OK, there it is. Assignment clause schemes are nothing new. Campbell, Campbell says 
what this kind of strategy has been seen in Calgary and Edmonton when they were hot markets as well as Toronto. In Toronto, what you see is a lot of people who buy pre-built condos and sell them at profit before they even take possession of them. This is another version of that. Is it legal? It may be controversial, but it's completely legal in both BC and the rest of Canada. The assignment clause entitles the buyer to pass on the home to another buyer, and there's no law preventing the listing realtor from facilitating these sales. So these real estate agents are making a ton of cash. The ones that are going against this or uh, finding this loophole to make more money, but then it's the Canadian proper who suffers. So it's the money laundering that's coming in, the shadow selling, the shadow flipping now. it's It's been going on for a long time now, right? It is possible, although, that the practice violates Real Estate Council of British Columbia regulations, according to the organization's professional standard manual. The general rule is the absence of the wording in the contract to the contrary. Is the buyer, the buyers may assign their rights under the contract as long as they do not uh, uh, prejudice the rights of the sellers. What effect does it have on the housing market? Well, there it is. Shadow flipping uh, negatively affects on the seller who receives less for the property than they would have. And the final buyer who's paying the inflated price. And the entire, pretty much the entire city that's getting bought out of their own markets that they can't even get into that they were born and raised in. And that's becoming a major issue now. And it's the brain drain that's happening. And, it's, and I've been talking about this for years. But when it comes to a larger housing market, Campbell says the effect of these kind of deals is negligible. Given its relativity, a small niche that impacts quite uh, minimal, he says. Campbell says that the majority of realtors don't use this technique. It's not a giant prevalent situation. So, guys, what's being done about this? In the wake of recent media attention, Vancouver MLA David Ebay is calling for BC government to appoint an independent investigator who will hold an inquiry on real estate regulation. So this is old news, but this is happening. You need to be careful because people ask me, Mike, you keep talking about shadow flipping. No, the shadow flipping and shadow selling, right? Shadow selling is when you get two, two corporate entities selling between each other so they could launder more money. For them to do it, let's say in Oklahoma, let's say they want to shadow flip in Oklahoma. They buy a house for 140,000 US. Then that corporation wants to sell to the, it's the same person that owns the two corporations, but they sell to the other corporation and they just laundered some money. They sell back, they laundered some money. They sell back, but it would take a million years for them to do what they could do in Vancouver in three flips because a $3.1 million teardown isn't unheard of. And you could just flip that between, you could shadow sell that between the same two corporate entities. That's why we have multi-billions and billions of dollars laundered through Canada and Australia and the New Zealand and the UK. Let me know what you guys think of shadow flipping. I mean, it, it's not unheard of. And just read the fine print, guys, when you're uh, signing anything with any real estate agent. And just be careful. And re again, maybe get a lawyer to look at. Because nobody out. No, there's a lot of people that are out there to get your money. So be careful, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Thanks for watching.